Some of the most common conditional testing in Excel is performed with if statements. If statements act like a game of 20 questions, where each question returns an answer of true or false. Now you can nest seven if statements within your original statement to form very complicated conditional testing. But normally, after you start using this, you'll see that normally one or two will suffice. To demonstrate, I'll give you a real-life example of a report run from QuickBooks. Now, most reports from QuickBooks or other accounting software will list the name of the vendor, the client, and all of the dates and amounts that go with it. And they'll have blank spaces here. Uh, they do that because it's easy on the eye to see that the first three belong to Bob's Office Supply and the next two belong to Flavor Coffee. However, if you want to use this as a database to run uh, uh, other scenarios, to sort or do anything else, these blank spaces will make that impossible. We will fill those in by using an if statement. We will go to an adjacent column and type equals and that first cell because the first one will always have a name. And now we're ready for our if statement. Equals if that cell equals blank, and a blank is two quotation marks, comma, give me the item above, comma. If it's not blank, return the name that's in that cell. If we copy this formula down, you'll see that it fills in all of the blank spaces with the appropriate name. To complete our project, we will copy all of our formulas and paste special value right over the name in our original uh, report. And then we'll go ahead and erase our work area. And here you have a fully functional database with no spaces.